Hi, it's Tanya. I was going to say, and welcome back to Pinkoween, but welcome to day one of not Pinkoween. <laughs> so today is November 1st, and I wanted to put out a video that wasn't Halloween related. I woke up this morning feeling a little bit lost and kind of like, oh, Pinkoween is over. But at the same time, I'm kind of excited to do a makeup look that isn't Halloween related. So um, today I'm just going to be playing with makeup, which means I'm not going to talk about the brands that I'm using. And um, if you really want to know what brands or what products I'm using, you can always message me on Instagram or Facebook or email me. Um, and most likely I will put uh, what products were used or some of them or at least the brands on Instagram, maybe. I haven't decided. But I'm just going to talk to you guys today about a bunch of stuff. One of the things being my hair, as you guys can tell, it is different. Um, so yeah, we're just going to get into it. Uh, today's look was inspired by a girl that I found on Instagram. Uh, her Instagram handle is Serena or Soro Karina. And I will link it in the description box below if you want to see the original look. It was my look is going to be just inspired by it. I'm not going to recreate it exactly just because we have different makeup styles and I want to switch a couple things up, but I loved her look. She's so talented. Um, and yeah, so let's get started. So first I'm going to moisturize my face. I've already done my brows off camera. Um, and speaking of hair color, you're probably going to see that my hands are purple. If it's not pink -ween, it's my hair. That's staining my hands, I swear. I can't seem to get the color off. Um, I tried micellar water, I tried rubbing alcohol, I tried hydrogen peroxide. I mean, it's not as bad as it was, but it's just, they're tinted like a grape purple. So, oh, and also I wanted to let you guys know there were a few pink -ween looks that I filmed that I just didn't have space to post, but a lot of them are like you know, videos that I'm really proud of or excited about. Um, and one of them is dedicated to a friend of mine. So I was wondering if you guys would still want to see those or should I just scrap them or wait until a later date? Let me know down in the comment section below. Um, yeah. So, so my hair, one of the looks that I really wanted to do this year, uh, which this is one that I didn't film yet is I wanted to, um, do a poison ivy look and my hair before I colored it purple was red but it wasn't the correct shade of red so I got the bright idea to go to CVS which normally I always get my hair color from Sally Beauty Supply and get a like which I mean I don't have an issue with like box dye from like CVS but um I mean, it's not my favorite, but I have used, you know, uh, just like Feria and all those brands before, but I decided to get Splat. I actually got this one and it was called Luscious Raspberries. And, um, I was like, that'll be the perfect color for Poison Ivy. And it comes with a lightning kit. Remember that word lightning. So when I got the kit, I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to lighten my hair. I'm only going to leave it in for 10 minutes because I don't, you know, I have fine hair, so I don't need anything that's crazy. Um, you know, I don't need to leave it in for a crazy amount of long, you know, long, crazy amount of time. And so I decided that that's what I was going to do. So I just left it in, like I said, for Sorry, I'm just gathering a couple things. Um, I just decided to leave it in for like literally like 10 minutes, the lightning part, part of it. And when I did, <clears throat> I don't know what just happened to my voice there. When I did, it literally turned my hair like Jessica Simpson, Britney Spears, Carrie Underwood, like blonde, like so blonde. It was awful. If you want, I can post some pictures of it on Instagram. I only took like one or two photos because I couldn't even stand to look at myself because you guys know I said in a previous video very recently that out of all the hair colors on myself, 
I think blonde looks the worst. So I was like, awesome. Um, and I knew that I was coloring over it, but at that point it was so blonde that I was worried that if I went in with the luscious raspberries, that it was actually going to turn like Ronald McDonald red, like really intense, which is not what I wanted because my hair is naturally like a reddish brown, more so on the red side. So I didn't want to add that much red. I don't, I don't know what my thought process was, but I didn't want to add that much red initially because I do want to experiment with some other colors and I knew it would be really hard to get out of my hair. So I changed my mind and I decided to just use hair color that I had here. So that was my Arctic Fox Purple Rain and Virgin Pink and Girls Night Out that I like to mix. And that's what I did. Well, um, because my hair, like when you color your hair, as you guys probably already know, when you color your hair, uh, it's a good idea for it to be like kind of dirty when you color it. And because I bleached it, it was no longer dirty. So, um, and I'd also shampooed the bleach out. So anyhow, I made a lot of mistakes. This is all my fault. I'm telling you right now. But, um, so I was like, okay, well, I'm still going to try to color my hair. So, um, I colored it the purple and it turned mostly purple, but it had a lot of like patchy areas and it had a lot of areas I just was not happy with. Like it was, I just, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to have to retouch that up. I'm going to have to retouch that up. I'm going to have to retouch that up. So I went ahead and had dinner, did, you know, did everything else I needed to do. And then I decided right before bedtime, I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to recolor it and then I'll rinse it out and I'll just color it while I watch a movie because I normally leave my hair color in for an hour to two hours for the Arctic Fox because then it really takes, it lasts a long time. I keep getting glittery eyeshadow on my brows and it'll be perfect, right? Wrong. So I fell asleep with the hair color in my hair. Yep. So I fell asleep with the hair color in my hair and I woke up this morning and I was like, my head was like stuck to the pillow <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, what have I done? And like, I totally thought, oh, I hope my hair doesn't fall out. Well, luckily Arctic Fox is like vegan, cruelty free. I think it's a vegetable based dye. So it did not damage my hair hardly at all. Like, um, I mean, you can tell like it looks shiny. It looks, you know voluminous like it just doesn't it didn't damage it so I got really lucky if I had been coloring my hair with probably any other brand like especially like a box dye or something oh my gosh my hair definitely would have fallen out for sure um because I have very fine hair but I got really really lucky so that is how my hair ended up purple and why it's this purple like it's this light isn't even doing it justice on how bright it is. And it's also um, kind of multicolored almost in certain lighting because I added like some magenta. You can like tell when the light hits it. So because the virgin pink and the girls night out is more of like a magenta than it is a um, purple. So the purple rain is the really dark purple. So yeah, so that is my hair story. And I'm so happy that I use Arctic Fox because like I said, if I'd used anything else, I think this would be a whole nother conversation. But, oh well. <laughs> yeah, I must have just been so tired because I don't know, like I just... All I remember is I started watching a movie and then that's it. Like, I don't remember anything after that. And I just, 
it was in my hair for eight and a half hours. So that's fun. And I know this is a very crazy bold look. All right. So now I'm going to go into a darker shade. I almost said what I was going to use. Um, but yeah. And I just want to say again, I know I keep saying this and I'll probably say it 50,000 more times, but thank you guys so, so, so much for all of your love and all of your support with Pinkoween. It was so much fun for me to do. And I think I mentioned this before in at least one of my videos, but I had never done any kind of like costumey makeup or, um, yeah, like, I don't know how else to, I don't want to say special effects because I didn't do any prosthetics or anything, but like I'd never done any face painting or anything like that before. So it was fun, but I was nervous about it when I first started. And you guys just cheered me on and you were so supportive from the beginning. Um, don't forget to enter the giveaway for the classic horror palette. Um, if you don't feel comfortable, a few things I wanted to say about that. Um, this is why I'm not talking about brands today because I have a lot to talk about. So a few things I forgot to say in that video. One is if you don't feel comfortable leaving your Instagram or your email in the comment section, you guys can always email me directly so that I have it or message me on Instagram. My email address is in the about section on my channel. Um, so that's something that you guys can always do if you need to get a hold of me. Um, also, the giveaway is international. So if you win, I will ship to you no matter where you are. It doesn't matter if you're in Michigan, if you're in California or if you're in Australia or Africa, like no matter where you are, I will ship you the palette. Um, or not the, yeah, the palette. That's what we're talking about. Um, and then this week you will see another video go up about a different giveaway, which that will be my 1000 subscriber giveaway. And I'm so excited, you guys. There's going to be three winners, and I'm just going to say, which I might have already said in another video, but I'm just so excited. There are going to be choices to choose from, and it's not like, not giving away too much. The choices, it's not like, okay, one person gets to choose, and then the other person is stuck with whatever the other person didn't choose. Each person gets to choose between the same things. We'll just say that. So I'm so excited and there will be a giveaway and a uh, video or announcement video and th the same rules will apply. It'll be international. Um, and all you'll have to do is comment on that video with your, uh, email address or your Instagram. Again, if you don't feel comfortable leaving it, just email me directly or message me on Instagram or Facebook directly. Um, and yeah. So I'm really, 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 really excited about that. <coughs> I don't know what's going on. And I do have a Snapchat. Um, I, I don't go on Snapchat a whole lot, uh, but I had someone ask me that yesterday, and uh, I'm pink sweets with a one instead of an I, and then seven, seven, I think, because seven is my lucky number, and so I am on there. And I will answer messages if you send me one. And I will add you if you add me. I love talking to you guys. That's why 
I started my channel and I, you know, in, in the past, like before I started my channel, I had messaged some other YouTubers like that I watch personally, um, here and there. And I always noticed that I would like never get a reply and I don't quite understand that. I know there's a lot of YouTubers that are good about answering people. And I know that there are also people that are busy, but I think we're all busy, but I feel like for me, one of the reasons I started my channel, the main reason I started my channel was because I wanted, you know, people to talk to about makeup and about beauty and skincare and make friends and talk, you know, to people that have the same interests that I do in makeup and stuff like that. So I just, I don't understand the concept of like not answering people. That's why I always try to respond back to every comment that I get as well, which I know will get harder, you know, with like as my channel grows, but I'm still going to try my best. So we'll see if nothing else, I'll at least like heart the comment, which again, like I have some YouTubers that I watch that, you know, anytime that I leave a comment, they always heart it like rich Lux. And he's one also that I've talked to on Instagram and he actually, um, you know, answered. So there are some people that will, that are good about that, but there are some people that does not matter how much you message them. They will not answer you back. I need the dark color again. Like it did not want to open. I'm trying to figure out how far I want to go in with this magenta shade. I also thought this look was perfect to do with my hair, but I really wanted to do a look that was um, just fun. And I know it looks crazy right now, but it'll all come together in a moment. And I know it has a lot of fallout, but I'm not good about tapping off my brushes. And I also don't really want to because I want the full pigmentation. I ended up not doing anything for Halloween after all that. <laughs> after a whole month of dressing up. Basically, I uh, just stayed at home, watched movies, scary movies, and just relaxed because I was so tired. I didn't realize like how much fun Pinkween was, but how much it wore me out at the same time because when I went back and I counted because of the bonus videos that I did, like just drop something. The bonus videos that I did for um, you know, just different reasons, like the breast cancer awareness one, um, the haul, like a few hauls that I put up and stuff like that. There were a few days where I had put um I just want to get rid of some of this so I can see the look come together a little bit before I do the inner corner. Um I ended up uploading 38 videos in 31 days, which is just crazy, but I got used to it. And so I was like, today I was like, well, what now? <laughs> so I'm definitely going to have to, um, I definitely want it just like added fallout back. There we go. Um, I definitely want to keep uploading at least four or five times a week and what else was I gonna say? my brain just went nope um okay 
will come back to me. Um, oh, right. So for the month of November, which, as I said, today is November 1st, uh, I want to each day say something that I'm thankful for since this is Thanksgiving month. And I want to say that today I am so grateful and thankful for you guys. And I know that sounds cheesy or typical, but it's true. I feel like we are a little community. I feel like we have really grown close. I love all of your comments. I love hearing about your pets when I talk about my pets. I love, I just love all of it. Like I just am so grateful that I started my channel and that I met you guys. And I'm also grateful that I've made a lot of like close friends um, through my channel, not just other YouTubers, which that's also amazing, but even just you guys who have reached out to me on Instagram or Snapchat or Facebook. I just love you guys. And I'm so thankful for you. Not just because you're subscribed to my channel and you watch my videos and you support me in that way, but because, you know, we're actually friends. And I love it. drives me nuts when on Instagram it doesn't say what the person used but that's what this series is all about the playing with makeup series and not talking about brands is that I can recreate the look that I got inspired by without having to have the exact products that the person that I saw was using so I've been talking so much I'm gonna do my foundation off camera and I'll be right back Okay, I'm back and I've got concealer all over my face. So, um, I'm going to continue my, I know it's been taking forever for me to do it, but there's been so many things. Oh, that's a little bright. There we go. I've been doing so many other things in between, like Pinkoween, that I kind of took a break from my Juvia's Place palette series because I own all of the Juvia's Place palettes. Um, and I want to uh, continue doing a look with each of those palettes. So I've done, I'll try to link the videos that I've done so far up above, but I've done the Nubian, the Zulu, the Saharan 2, uh, possibly the Nubian 2. I think the Nubian 2 was one I did as well. So I will try to link those above if I remember. And um, I'm going to try to do, because I have the Afrique palette now and I have the Warrior palette now. Um, and I just love dubious places, you guys know. Um, so I'm gonna finish that and then I'm gonna do another palette series because I have some brands that no matter what they put out, I will buy from them. And I think I'm gonna do a Trading Mecca one. Um, I think I've, you guys probably know by now, but I'm affiliated with them. But the first like two or three palettes I got from them, I bought myself. So so I think I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna try to think of another brand that I have <sighs> so much excess powder. Um, I couldn't find the lid to the powder in my life right now. Um, so I just put it on a palette. 
So, yeah, I'm trying to think of other brands that I have multiple palettes from them so that I can do, like, um, a palette series with them as well. Because I think, I just like doing them. I like seeing, um, you know, what brands have created and what I can do with each of their palettes, so. I have a lot of Anastasia palettes, but I don't have um, Subculture, and I don't have, what's the other one, Norvina. I just never bought them. If I saw the Subculture palette again at, um, what was it called, Marshalls or something like that, I would definitely consider getting it because uh, I like the color scheme, sort of. And I think I would, I think I would enjoy it to an extent, but, um, the Norvina one, I don't know why, but, oh my gosh, that's so dark. The Norvina one just isn't a palette for me, I don't think. Like, it's pretty, and I like the color scheme, but I just... I don't know. I just can't bring myself to buy it. Uh, my friend Annette just put out a video of palettes that were disappointing. Like once they were revealed, like the shit, once the shades were revealed and I'll link it, I'll link her channel up here and I'll try to link the video itself as well. Um, maybe in the description box, but, uh, it was a really good video and I agree with her. Um, on like every single one pretty much and especially with the Norvina palette she had said in her video which I totally agree with and kind of didn't realize till she said this but um it's a it's supposed to be like a purple themed palette but it only has like two purples so I don't know that that is kind of weird so um I'm gonna you know, keep wanting to tell you guys what I'm going in with. I took down the Halloween theme, as you can see, and I put up just some postcards from different collections that I've gotten, um, in the mail. So, um, yeah, I just decided to put that up. I'm going to put up something Thanksgiving related and then something Christmas related. Well, I just haven't had a chance to go get anything yet. Um, but and so I just kind of stuck those up there. I will start filming, I don't know when, but in another area. Um, we are currently packing up and selling our house. Um, that's not really something I've talked about on my channel, but we, our house has flooded like three times for different reasons. And, um, just all of them kind of like on a fluke and we're just kind of done with the neighborhood we live in, in terms of, uh, not the neighborhood, but the house. So I, yeah, I just haven't, this is where I film because the rest of my house is pretty much in boxes and, you know, being shown and all this stuff. So. Uh, this is easier, but when we do get a new place, I will do a new house tour or whatever, that kind of thing. So I think that would be fun. And my new friend, Brooke, uh, suggested it. So thank you, Brooke. And hi, Brooke. <laughs> we just talked last night. It was fun. On, uh, we talked on Snapchat, which is what kind of reminded me of the whole, I have a Snapchat thing. Uh oh, I just got it all over my teeth. Leanne, I'm looking at you. Joey talks about lipstick check, did I get it on my teeth kind of thing. 
So that is kind of a boring lip, to be honest, for this look. But I'm going to put, I'm going to add some uh, lip gloss in a minute once it dries. And I want to add some... Does anyone else ever have trouble getting liners to sometimes show up in your waterline? I don't know if it's because the waterline is too wet or what. But it's like it does not want to show up. There we go. Sometimes I have to build it up. One eyeliner I never have that issue with is Marc Jacobs for some reason, and it sucks because they're really expensive, but for some reason, Marc Jacobs eye, um, eyeliners, they just, hmm, they're just awesome, but I think I only have like one because they're so expensive. Ooh, I just got eyeshadow in my eye. Oh, I like that. I like kind of the magenta shade over top of the blue liner. And I know this video is going to be long. Um, but because this is like a playing with makeup and just chatting with you guys. That's why this one is going to be this long, but I have gotten better about making, um, a lot of my videos shorter, like maybe like 20 minutes, 28 minutes long. So but sometimes you just gotta have a long video. I like what that added to the inner corner. I'm not going to put on lashes today. I've put on, so, oh, I've put on lashes like, I feel like almost every single day this month, just about, which is fine because I love them now, but I think no lashes for today. I'm not even going anywhere today. I'm just going to hang out with my dogs wearing full glam makeup. I just got mascara in like three different places on my face. And I forgot that I wanted to do wing liner. I think I can still do wing liner. And hopefully I can get all this mascara off my face. Cause, hmm. Normally I don't ever get this mascara on my face, but it is trying me today. Okay. Let me get this mascara off my face and I'll be right back. I cannot even make this stuff up. So I literally put on some purple wing liner, which you can't even tell because I have purple eyeshadow on the outer corner and I swiped it right across my nose. Got off the mascara. Yeah. So, let's just get that off. Luckily, oh, nope. I was going to say, luckily, it's coming off easily, but not really. Okay, let's cover it up with highlight, right? Highlight fixes everything. Although, I don't like that, like Rudolph on the end of my nose. Well, sometimes I do. That's not true. shouldn't say I don't ever like it. Sometimes I put way too much. Just touching up my blush, some setting spray, even though I've sprayed my face like 50 times. And then some gloss. I can't decide between two that I almost just told you. Um, no, I think I'm going to use the other one just because I haven't really used it very much. And I want it to be really shiny. 
Okay. So that is the final makeup look. If you guys want to see close-ups, you can see them on my Instagram. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to play with makeup today and do a fun, bright, colorful, non uh, Halloween look. So I will leave the original artist link down below. I don't think my look looks exactly like hers at all, but I just put my own spin on it. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.